Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 20 degrees Celsius. Hi. So it seems like it's um, so it seems like it's a safe temperature for me to leave my house. <coughs> I've been sitting at home all day um, working and also like dreaming about this dessert cup that I really really need before I film a reel. I have I have a reel in my head and I have a specific by okay by reel. I mean short form video for youtubers yeah, for youtube and yeah so i i have this very specific dessert cup in my mind that i really feel like without it i won't be able to film this video just i just cannot and so i thought hey it seems like a reasonable temperature a decent temperature for me to step out out of this house because ever since like it started getting slightly cold i've just been like i've just been inside inside my house i don't want to step outside because i am such a summer girl i cannot i just cannot handle the cold i i'm freezing up like it it physically hurt like my fingers hurt so bad but at the same time my friends from here they go they are like perfectly fine and they have they don't it doesn't hurt them while i am there like almost feeling like I, my fingers are gonna fall off because of frostbite yeah it's not that bad yet it's it's gonna get worse it's gonna get worse and then i'm just gonna be there on that couch like i was since this morning covered up on a blanket and not stepping outside of the couch even and yeah so i'm gonna take you with me and i'm gonna show you what cups i buy Do you 
summers, the sun does not enter my kitchen this way, which is great. But I don't get to film in sunlight, you know what I'm saying? So it's only the winters that I get the sun into my kitchen exactly around this time and then it sort of moves away. So this is like the perfect time. I should like bring out things to film. this and I call this my spice box I fell in love with it this is actually not a spice box it's actually a sewing box like a sewing kit like people who used to sew before we don't do that anymore we just just throw out our clothes and they tear up tear up and they are torn but yeah this used to be a place where people would sew their sewing stuff mostly grandmas okay i don't think i want to go with this Where is my Sliced up Brussels sprouts and apple. Why? Don't ask me. <laughs> it's actually a Brussels sprout salad that I feel would be much better if it's cooked, like better on the belly, not belly. Good. Stomach. Good. So I'm just gonna dump all of this, and it's already marinated and stuff. After lunch, no, at lunch I'm going to post a recipe and then after lunch I have to have a meeting and then hopefully after the meeting I will be able to um, like go out because look it's so sunny and nice. So right now, in about 50 minutes, I have a meeting, a business call. Um, so I have to, so I have to like kind of like prepare myself mentally, but I need coffee. I, I finished my lunch and I was just watching things, you know, just random uh, privileges I take from just being my own bus. Okay, I feel so cringe saying that, but basically yeah so after lunch i like to take like a long lunch because that's something i always wanted when i was like back when i was working uh at, at my lab it's something that i used to crave like oh i wish i had like a longer lunch time so that after lunch i could like chill for 45 minutes to one hour whatever so i do that now <laughs> it's like it's my me time so i was doing that and now i'm gonna get back to some work just and get into like the headspace for the for the meeting before before the meeting so yeah coffee i also i also forgot to mention i think in my previous videos that every day almost every day every two days at least I take my B12, D3 and sort of like a multivitamin complex um, supplements and for sure B12, taking B12 supplements is really important so I definitely do take that and D3 as well so 
because because some people ask me like hey do you take some supplements and yeah supplementation especially for b12 is very important if you're vegan so even vegetarians foodies and like people who cook in general i think we are always open to learning more like i personally always like find myself taking courses like recently i took an italian cooking course you know yeah. just to sort of like widen my horizons and to learn like different kinds of cooking techniques and like french cooking techniques like sous vide and this kind of thing i don't think like, i don't Good afternoon and talk to you Thursday. Good evening to you. <laughs> talk to you on Thursday. Thanks, Thank Eva. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hi, I have some great news for you. A lot of people have been asking me if I have a cooking course. So I finally decided to create one and I've been working on it for such a long time. And I'm so happy to announce that it is almost ready. Very soon you'll be able to learn the techniques and skills required to master Indian cooking. So just leave your details right here and you will be the very first to be announced when the course is officially released. And you will also be able to enjoy a very special discount. So sign up for the waiting list. And I'm excited to see you on the course. <laughs>